The Water and Sewage Authority is in a catch-22 position while it owes contractors hundreds of millions of dollars. The authority also has outstanding arrears of over half a billion dollars. The executive management of WASA on Monday appeared before a joint select committee of parliament. The committee was called to look into the establishment of systems for the maintenance of drainage and roadways. However, committee members probed the authority about its debt to contractors and debts owed to the authority. What is the current debt owed to contractors by WASA at this time, if you have an idea? Um, currently recorded, it's 342.4 million. 3.2? 342.4 million. The figure is around $56 million. I believe I could get the exact figure and, and communicate that to you. But it's, I, I believe it's around $56 million. $56 million outstanding to us, Correct, from the state, state agencies. The, the business and industrial, industri and industrial, it's around $79 million. That is commercial and industrial? Correct. Meanwhile, the JSC was told that the authority loses between 40 to 50 percent of its supply of water through leakages. Unaccounted for water will include um, leaks, but will also include losses on, on the customer side. Mm -hmm. So um, given our situation where we have storage tanks on site, we'll have overflowing tanks. Mm -hmm. The usage of our customers, the usage patterns, mm -hmm. the, the um, per capita usage in Trinidad is higher than, than in other areas.